So, I wasn't planning on putting up a video today, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what has just been announced online. I just was told to look at the internet and um, it turns out that Ursula K. Le Guin passed away today. She was 88 years old and was an amazing human being. Um, it, it is a real loss to science fiction and fantasy. Um, she hasn't written in a long time, but Ursula K. Le Guin was a powerhouse of a woman. Um, really was one of the first people to popularize feminist science fiction and fantasy. And on a very personal level, was one of the first people who really engaged me in critical thought through fiction. Um, I was first introduced to her work in, in undergrad. I had a philosophy professor who had us read The Ones Who Walk Away from Omelas, which is a fantastic short story. It's available online and I'll see about linking it down below. Um, and it, it's a story about how far humans can or should go to make an ideal world and what does it mean to compromise yourself in pursuit of that. Um, I have read a lot of other works of hers since then, uh, particularly over the last couple of years as I've been more and more involved in, in fantasy, uh, specifically in feminist fantasy and feminist science fiction. And I don't quite have my head around this. Um, but I've decided that this week, after I finish with the Jade City, I only have maybe 75 pages left, that I'm gonna go ahead and reread the word for World is Forest. This is um, kind of Le Guin's take on colonialism and imperialism and about how we treat indigenous persons. This is one that has meant a lot to me in the past that I found to be really powerful and I think it, it, it is well suited to read this in the wake of her passing. I will probably, frankly, also be reading The Ones Who Walked Away From Omelas. Um, that's a short story and is well worth all of the rereads you could ever read. Um, but yeah, we've lost one of the greats today and I wish I was more articulate about it, about how I feel. Um, I just kind of feel shocked. Uh, somehow Ursula K. Le Guin was someone who has always been in the background of my experiences with SFF. Um, my, my roommates like to tease me that she wrote about lesbian dragon fiction. Um, <laughs> which I had to explain to them was not quite true. Um, and of course, when I told them a few minutes ago about having found out about her passing, they, they said that they were sorry that I will no longer have lesbian dragon fiction. Um, but one of the great things about Ursula K. Le Guin is she empowered a lot of other people to write. And a lot of the people who I really respect, who I think write fantastic fiction that engages with critical thought, those people learned from her. Um, let me know if you want to join me. I'll go ahead and figure out some sort of hashtag. It might just be by Ursula. Um, and I will, I will live tweet as I read through it. Um, yeah, there's no real, real simple, concise way to end this. So I will say goodbye. If you want, you can leave in the comments how Ursula impacted you. And I would love to read your stories. I know that a lot of you have them. I, I know that she touched you all as well. Talk to you later.